what is going on guys welcome welcome to a casual gamers review of warhammer 40k space marine 2 on the playstation 5 i'm mostly going to be reviewing the campaign mode guys the online the online is fun you know you got your capture the flag team deathmatch you know a typical online but here I'm mostly going to touch on the campaign side of this game. This game, guys, was extremely, extremely fun. I really, really liked that. As you can see, this is my gameplay. The game is bloody and it is great. <clears throat> Question. Are you a fan of Gears of War on the Xbox and PC? Are you a fan of third-person shooters in general? If you're a fan, if your answer was yes, on those two questions, you should get your hands on Warhammer 40,000 Space Marine 2. This game is great and is just it's just a fun game. Right? It is just a fun game, guys. Um hold on, give me one second. Okay, it is just a fun game of the story is just what? Kill some aliens. Let's go rip aliens apart with your chainsaw with your hammer there's really nothing much to it get your guns let's start shooting some aliens that's about it right it's just a fun game you can play up to three people in the campaign mode there's also an operations mode which is obviously online too that um there is no split screen in this game everything is online unfortunately but you can enjoy the game with two more people. So you and two more, that will be three. And um, it's, it is just a fun game to just shoot a, uh, shoot aliens around. You know, as you can see right there, shoot aliens, cut them in half with your chainsaw. Let's move the story along. Let's get to different places. Let's fly around. Let's just be a badass space marine. That's that's it. You got your, uh, is, you got your third person over the shoulder camera. You got your melee, so you have, uh, there's different type of melee weapons, not only the chainsaw, but the chainsaw is one of my favorites. And then you have different types of guns. Enemy types is not that varied. You do get some variation of some enemy types. There, there's a couple of annoying ones, like always, right? There's a couple of annoying ones that just come at you, and just come at you, and they're annoying. But um, this game is just fun, guys. This game is just fun. I like I am reviewing it for the PlayStation 5 and I do have a uh, sort of a complaint right the complaint is graphics so you obviously you get to pick between performance mode quality mode performance mode the game looks a bit blurry okay it doesn't look as detailed as quality mode I didn't know there was gonna be such a huge difference between performance mode and quality mode in this game now, of course, I'm not talking about PS5 exclusive, right? This, these people develop for Xbox and PC. But I didn't know there was going to be that big of a difference. And with the scale of this game, this game has really big scale. There's a lot of enemies on screen. It has, a really, <clears throat> it has really good set pieces. You don't want to see those set pieces at a lower quality than the developers intended. <clears throat> so with that said... You should play the campaign at 30 frames per second because you get better graphics and you get steady frame rates. If you play this in performance mode, there's there's going to be a few scenes. There's going to be a lot of enemies on the screen and the frames are going to drop from from 50 something down to the 40s. So that's not according to me, that's according to Digital Foundry's uh, review. So Digital Foundry did obviously a review. Um, here I paused the game for some reason. Maybe I was doing something. Let me fast forward so you guys can see more gameplay. So Digital Foundry did a, also a review on this game and they saw the performances and performance mode was really lacking in that aspect. So I was like, you know what? Let me just play at 30 frames. It's not that bad. You do see a difference, but it is campaign mode. It's not online. It's not critical. So my suggestion 
play this game on quality mode, you are not going to regret it. It is a very fun game, guys. The gameplay is fun. Uh, the story mode, however, is not that long. The story mode could take you from 10 to 15 hours. 12 hours, I think, is what it took me around there. Uh, I think it was from 10 to 12 hours is what it took me. Now, I did play it all by myself. Maybe if I played it with friends, it would have been a bit more fun. We would have explored more, laughed more, whatever, whatever. I did play it just by myself, and it was still fun. It was still a very, very fun campaign. But this is another game, guys, that you get with your friends, play this game, play this campaign mode. Boom, boom, boom. You play, you have fun, you leave, right? It's basically like back on the PS3 era, right? And a little bit of the PS4 era. When games were just fun, it's just it's just a fun game. There was nothing, no woke stuff thrown at it, no controversial things, no no identity politics, none of that. It's just a fun game. Let's just kill some aliens. Let's just have some fun. That's what this game is about. That's what Warhammer Space Marine 2 is about. And uh, I think we should give we should support these developers because uh, they did a really really good job. Uh, with this game this game is not $70 it is $60 brand new now they did patch it there are they are adding new things to support the game for free so uh, I you know we have that but overall this is just a fun game guys if you haven't if you got some friends that like war if you like Warhammer obviously you should get this game uh, if you have some friends that might be interested in this game you go get that game and you tell your friends to get that game and you guys play the campaign together and then operations and then online mode and all that. So this is mostly a review obviously for our campaign mode, but um, this game is really, really fun guys. The campaign was super fun. You have, you have around 10 to 12 hours or just straight up epicness. Okay. And it, it, it spikes up and uh, it's, it's never, it's never boring. You're always you're always doing something. You're always seeing a different place. You're you're killing a lot of aliens, right? So this game is a lot of fun to me, guys. Uh, it's worth picking up. But uh, yeah, let me know let me know what you guys think in the comment sections if you guys are gonna pick up this game or what you guys are are going to do for what system are you planning on picking this game up for. Or if you even can't afford it, or if you don't want to get it, let me know. Let me know down, down in the comments. Don't forget to also follow me on Instagram, guys. At gaming with gaming underscore with G. I'll be posting uh, some stuff there. I want to interact with you guys through there too. Leave me some comments. Give me, send me some DMs. Interact with me, guys. I, I want to see what you guys uh, think about uh, this game. So if you are getting it, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all of that good stuff, guys. All of that good stuff. Help me grow my channel, guys. I really, really appreciate it. I just want you guys to, to take a look at my content. If you like it, just, just hit the like button, subscribe, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.